Oh, I don't know if I should trust this camcorder, but I'm going to anyway. Does this have hi-fi stereo audio? Yes, it does. So you'll probably hear me completely in the left channel. I don't hear it doing anything egregious with the tape at this particular juncture in time. So maybe it only does that when I try to rewind. Who knows? Either way, we are recording with an RCA DSP-3. What is the model on this thing? I can't remember off the top of my head. It says PRO881HB on the bottom, although I think there was another model listed somewhere else on the eBay listing for this camera. I don't remember what it is, so I guess we'll just have to do without for the time being. You can see the zoom. There's all of it. There is no image stabilization on this, which is funny because the Video 8 version of this camera that I've got, or at least a similar camera, the Video 8 version does have image stabilization, so this must have been a fairly low-end high 8 camera to not have image stabilization. But I will tell you right off the bat, I think that the picture looks better anyway on this particular camera. So even if the tape mechanism does turn out to be complete junk, at least it can be used as a video source. I don't hear it spilling tape in there, so I don't know what that was all about. Wrecked my friggin' high 8 tape, though. Doggone it. Somebody had mentioned on the video of the, uh... Uh, what was that? The Hitachi VME510A. This particular guy. And I hate to give his name any kind of publicity, because... Things he did were really just not, uh... Not cool. Not cool at all. Anyway. That camera was not, according to somebody else, the camera that the guy used was a Hi8 camera. But this one certainly could have been very close. Again, I hate to give any kind of press to the eye, but... I mean, there's a Wikipedia article. Is it going to focus on that? It is not going to focus on that. Okay, that's interesting. Try out the instant zoom. You can compare and contrast the date stamps for yourself, or at least the style of date stamp. Um, but I think it's working. I haven't heard any tape crinkling or any other incidents. You do not need to pay any attention to the mess that's on the floor or the ugly guy holding the camera that I'm surprised it hasn't broken it yet. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, there's quite a mess in here. I have got so many ongoing projects, it's not even funny. Okay. That was odd. I was going to come downstairs and uh, show you the cat, but I guess I don't have to. What are you doing? There you go. People always love to see cats in videos, so there's your cat in this video. Do you like the camera? No? Do you think it stinks? I think he thinks it stinks. He's definitely less interested in cameras in his advanced age. I remember right, he's about 17 years old this year. Anyway, I do have stuff to do later today, so I gotta make this quick, but...
I'm going to use this as a little light test. There would have been a video light on the side, but this one doesn't have it. The Hitachi one does. There's a no light test. Of course, there's nothing down here for me to look at. That's really be valuable in any way. We do, of course, get a couple of different fades. I mean, you saw the one from the uh, beginning. You get a regular fade. And what I would consider to be a door fade on this camcorder. Now, it's not really my style to record video 8 footage to high 8 tape, but I thought that it would be very fitting if I use this camcorder right here Actually, I might use the Video 8 tape instead, just to save on some Hi8 tape for other videos, but uh, regardless, I thought it would be very fitting if I used this camcorder here to record the video of this camera. That's a very clumsy phrasing, but I think you know what I mean. So we'll just take a, look, a little look at it. As people love to uh, ask, and they want to know all about the camera that I used to record the video. There you go. Okay, let's go ahead and change over to it now. Alright, so this camera definitely has a tape-eating issue. This is the second time I'm recording this. Uh, the first time it was on a tape that uh, got destroyed. So now I have to re-record all the videos that were on that tape. Anyway... This happened to be one of them, so here this one is. This is the RCA DSP-3, model Pro 881HB, um, Thompson Consumer Electronics, of course. Either way, it's definitely got something of a problem with the tape basket, bunching on tapes for reasons I don't understand. It's like it just doesn't unload them properly. So, whatever the case may be, you can see where the electronic image stabilization button would have been. But this model doesn't have that. I don't know if I mentioned the 16x9 uh, feature. It's not real 16x9. This one's got the same deal. It just adds black bars to the top. So, But overall, it's pretty much the same camera. It still has the, uh, the battery compartment and everything. Which is insanely useful. Uh, the seller's description of this implied that it didn't work and that it would, you know, come on for a second and then turn off. But I think that they really didn't know how to use it. Uh, because that's what it does when you first, when you open up the uh, eject lever and when you put battery in it or anything like that. That's what it does. It doesn't automatically just turn on. So, I think that's all that was about. Video light would go here if it had one. This camera does. And of course, this has hi-fi stereo audio, where the one I'm using right now does not. I think that's going to do it for the video, though. So, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off, and I hope to see you next time. Till then.